Do you have a family member that needs care? Do you have a family member that needs protection? Call us today at Heart to Heart Home Nursing Home, located in Portmore, Jamaica. We specialize in home care and we do everything nursing. Call 1-876-465-4063. That is Heart to Heart Nursing Home. Dr. Brown's Arthritis Remedy and Joint Oil Pain Relieves arthritis pain, muscle and joint pain, sciatica and foot pain and headaches and menstrual cramps and is also a great sleep aid. It's manufactured by Jamaican scientist Everton Brown PhD and is made with a blend of Jamaican herbs. We ship worldwide, jamsweet.com. You can make your purchases and start getting relief from pain. Yo, get your straight. You know, it's a quote in this, a.k.a. Scantilever Boss. Along with me, I drink them. Star King, I grade, presents Train and One Earth Day celebration. You know, the 30th of the month called March. You know, right at Poppy, you know, at Tavon Day. You know, right at the community centre. Music by DJ Platinum, DJ Kelly. One Sky Views. You know, the drum comes down, the one they are go wicked, the one they are go bad, you know, the drum come in. Admission free. Add it up now. A blessed good night, Jamaica. A blessed good night to the diaspora. I am back. I am back. I am back. I am back. I know that you all missed me last night, but things do happen, Jamaica. And as such, I'm asking for your forgiveness. I know a lot of people up to the penultimate hour last night was up wondering what teacher coming to talk about. But the truth be told, Jamaica. Things do happen. Wanna forgive me? Tell me if you forgive me. Wanna forgive me for not appearing last night? What did you all do last night? Last night. Yesterday was Palm Sunday. Yesterday was Palm Sunday at church. And I know many of you at church were at Palm Sunday giving God thanks, right? And you know what's Jamaica? Kwani, you know what color me wear go to church yesterday? Hey! Wanna guess what color me did in a last yesterday at church? Just guess. Yellow. Which yellow? Palm Sunday. Green. Lord Jesus. I did wear green yesterday, God church. At one point, me say, um, Pastor said to me, why me not get up? What me just feel? You know what? Unusual in the green clothes. <coughs> Yeah, I want me to look good in night, you know, the green and black. I look good in night. I just make a color, but it's dirty labor, right? Then take it up. But students, I can't you recognize that I don't wear green on the program, right? When you see how me look fresh and nice and come back, then the minute I look, let's really lady come tell me, say, I want to shave. You remember the lady last week, I tell me, say, I want to shave. Lord Jesus. But at Easter week, this is known. As holy week. So Thursday is holy Thursday. We want all of me. I go and see if Mama Janet can come. Come pray a long time. Mama Janet no come. Bust a word of prayer. If you do a holy Thursday prayer. Yes man. Only like come and look relaxed and fine and dandy. Yeah man. Only have to make sure some jacket them look good and so. Send up a super chat for me nice clean jacket. Hey! Only now send up a super chat for me nice clean jacket. Mm -hmm. Mama Janet has come back. You know, Jamaica, the truth is, Mama Janet has not been well, you know. She has not been well. But she watches momentarily. But she has not been well. Mm -hmm. So I'm she she'll be back with us this week. Remember, say. Who not know what say? Friday night. I know Friday night. Saturday night, Courtney. Me say me I go a Devon house. Go treat myself to an ice cream. But when me daddy, I see a new flavor ice 
screen. There's a flavor that never knows me really like. It named Crunchy Munchy. When you never hear about the Crunchy Munchy at Devon House, you must try out the Crunchy Munchy next time when you go at Devon House. I don't go there often. I go there once in a while. Devon House probably see me like three times for the year. If you see me at Devon House, though, me buy them jerk, a jerk chicken, I buy Courtney. I always buy the jerk chicken and the Sprat. And then, me will go at the ice cream place probably three times for the year. Me not go no whole heap of time. Because me know me and my diabetic, me not really go there. But the crunchy munchy nice. So me say me want to try the crunchy munchy. Mm. Guess what flavor them have in a ice cream now? Bun and cheese. Bun and cheese. Can I hear? Bun and cheese ice cream. Should I try that? No, quite see it there. Bun and cheese. Bun and cheese. Easter flavor. Easter. But what are you doing with bun and cheese ice cream? Mm. What are you doing with bun and cheese? Come thank you, Kimona. What are you doing with bun and cheese ice cream? Well, sorry, no, no about that. Remember, I mean, I think it would have tasted bad, though. Who knew would have tried? Who knew would have tried Jamaica? But remember, it now got tastes bad, man. No, it now got tastes. It now got tastes bad. Remember, say the cheese frozen and, and ice cream and milk base and cheese and milk base. It now got tastes bad. So, what did I eat? Oh, the bun. Remember, say enough how we eat something there. What are something they call again? Ice cream cake. A, a bowl of that, you know? What's your belly, man? <laughs> no, but no fun, no. Um, eat the bun. Only eat cookie. Only eat cookie and cream. Only eat... Where else come it? Um, what is something called ice cream cake? An uh, ice cream cake I like bola. So, but bun on here to bola. Oh. Bun near to Bula. Yeah, Bula and Pier ice, ice cream. All you, <laughs> Deb, you, me not want a Bula and Pier. That's a only a very Deb. Me would have, no, me would have tried the, um, what is something called? Uh, would have tried the bun and cheese. Who would have tried it? They know which flavor did nice what they when them did have with the sorrel ice cream. The sorrel ice cream did nice. Yeah, them did have a sorrel ice cream in a in a this in a the Christmas. And it never tastes bad. Yeah. Them did have the sorrel ice cream and it never. What? No, no, have no jerk ice cream. Who? Poland have no jerk ice cream. Me I first me hear about jerk ice cream. Mm. Yeah. Later in a July. Yes. Mm -hmm. Me I go make Auntie Claude go carry me. I me go try the um, ice cream. Muda try. Would I try the ice cream and see how it tastes? Then up a super chat for me, students. The class nice. Bless up the super chat, no students. Come on, man, so me can buy the ice cream. <clears throat> yeah, man, me want some ice cream. The nice, nice ice cream then. But I love the crunchy munchy ice cream. You know the crunchy munchy make out a waffle. The waffle yeah. and the caramel. Yeah, man. That's waffle sweet. and caramel. That's why I love it. You don't know me love the sweets. <laughs> you don't know me love the sweets. Waffle and caramel. Me Thank you, Olive. Bless you, Olive. I'm almost at 30,000 followers in less than three months, you know. Remember to like, subscribe. Whoa, 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 whoa. What be in it tonight? Mama Victoria, thank you. Lord Jesus. I would have for the win. Mama Victoria, Captain Jason, come, come, boss. You should can when I love competition. Hey! Whoa, thank you, Mama Vicky. Thank you. Lord Jesus. But what's that thing in Jamaica? 
Uno miss me last night. I couldn't talk the mix up for God. You know how much people died in Jamaica last week, Courtney? In the last two weeks, over 60 people have died. How much did I hear you? In the last two, 28 people were killed in Jamaica last week. 28 people and the week before, 31 people died. That is 60 people, Courtney. Jamaica, that don't look good. I don't know if so much Asians are dead in a 80. So I am telling you that they're, they're not reporting the crimes. They are not reporting the crimes. And I know for a fact, Jamaica, that the crimes are being underreported. 60 people have died. 60 people have died. And you're going to tell me that is business as usual. I don't hear about so much people are dead in Haiti. Them have political instability and have gone and shot on this and that and reality. But I don't hear so much people dying. Tell me if it's liar telling. Tell me if it's liar telling, Jamaica. Tell me if it's lie are telling. Thank you, Max Stone. Blessings to you, my student. Boy, I really look nice tonight. Oh, me look so good. You know, say, no, no, man, as I'm here, I ain't a friend. So now come tell me, say, I true, my beard. <laughs> me ain't a friend. Me and the producer, I watch you, me. Come here, name. You're I'm a facial. Thank you, Andreen. If you don't want to do my facial, I do my facial every week. That's why me never, me never do the facial Saturday. They remember the Saturday when me a scratch. That's why the ear them did a um bug me. Cause me never get fi, she never get fi tweeze them out and flick them up. Yes, man. Thank you, Noel. But the truth is, the crime rate in this country is too high. And to know that we had 28 murders committed last week. 28 murders committed last week, Jamaica. The week before, you know, I wish I had my friend Marvin over here to burn a fire. Good night, Marvin Edgar. Remember to follow Marvin on his social media. When name again, Little Fire. Marvin Little Fire. Yes, man. Follow Marvin on TikTok, Little Fire. Follow him on TikTok and remember to follow Ishmael and Isaac and Ratigan. It's long time I don't big up all of the bloggers. Big up all the bloggers them out there who are doing a good job. Big up to everybody doing a blogging. You understand? Even to my ex-producer who is now a blogger. Big up to you. Keep on doing your show. Make your show go to places. Big up on yourself, man. It takes a lot of work to speak and to produce santa blog so big up to Wayne loan someone in show doing the kind of investigative journalism big up to yes i accept zell say so can call me and i give it a zell big up to everybody man big up to talk your mind tv big up to everybody doing them show man don't it thank you karina a big up to everybody doing them show. Big up to Father Epic. Mm. Big up to Dr. Love. Me, I big up everybody tonight. Them say, what yeah, man. Sentence? Big up to Jamaica at Topic. Big up to everybody where I do them show. Me just uh, big up all to big up to all Shelly Quran. You know, says a Christian if you forgive people. What to L.A. Lewis? Boy, big up L.A. Lewis, no blagger. Mean, no, blagger. no, big up to everybody. Doing them show, Seven. doing the show, making the money and be prosperous. Don't it? Big up, sir, P. Aldo, you and I sat on a friend. I sat on my friend. Big up, my friend, I sat Buchanan. Big up, everybody. B Mr. Ratigan, big up yourself. See you back soon. 
Jamaican Carlos, big up yourself. All ah, when you hear me, me just still will shine. Big up yourself. Me I big up the whole town. Auntie Donna, Dr. Donna, go. Papa's news link. Jamaica hot topic out of the press. No, me I big up everybody, man. Me I big up everybody. Dad, send me a WhatsApp and I give you the zell. Send me a WhatsApp and I give you the zell. Yes, Jamaica. Then some of you big up all pretty Dan. Pretty Dan, big up yourself. You see, I cuss out the people them. One day thing, I don't listen to you, but you come up in my feed from time to time. But big up yourself. Big up all the bloggers out there on the spot news media. All on a big up on yourself. Big up to yourself. Me now nah have no kind of darkness in my heart. You have to free up yourself as a Christian and make yourself be at peace. You understand? Do you agree with me, Jamaica? Who agree with me? Say yes. Yes, man. My father, Mr. Finzi, him will be on a comedy this week. And when he might go there, him did send me the something. Me put it up in the something tomorrow. If you no want to see Mr. Finzi in I'm comedy, just let me know. All right? You have to be at ease. As so blessings come to you, Courtney. You can't have them up in your heart. Don't it? I won't forget, but I forgive. Reasonable? I won't forget, but I forgive. I won't forget. I'm big up to all of the TikTokers, them. Everybody, we are do TikTok. Uncle Derek, okay. yeah, man, big up Uncle Derek. Rose, Rose, what's your name? Rosalie, Miss, what's the next one? The name again, Miss Blinger, the mix up one, Miss Blinger, Ivani Cheese. Big up to all of them. Oh, big up to Andrew, what's your name? Andrew Bramwell. Big up to, hey, who you see the picture? Me, me send another group. Me have to send this a picture of Jamaica. We have to. Big up my friend, right? Mango. Julie Mango. Big up my friend, right? Mango. Well, and then we put it in the group. You show the picture attentive? I read. No. Look, pan this Jamaica and tell me. Tell me what you think about this. Them, them look alike for true. That's when you all see the authentic. Mm. Look upon that and tell me if them not look alike. Mm. Uh, man there. Kingston 7. Kingston 6. Kingston 6. Swagwan. Mm. Look upon that picture and tell me something. Jesus. Murder. Murder. Look upon that picture and tell me, say, if them are people in a local life. Mighty God. Hey. He. A this you call proper fix. Send up another super chat for that picture. Yeah. No, I'm dead. No, sir. Don't it. So no one did not tell the truth. I wouldn't stop till I find out. <laughs> Look for them. Mighty God. Mm. It's in peace, Mr. Bramwell. <laughs> <laughs> so all this time, who not them son the Prime Minister jacket? <laughs> but you know why I put it up, though? Tell me why I put it up, Jamaica. And it's, there's a high probability it's so in Jamaica. Because Jamaica is number one leading for paternity fraud. You know that, right? Jamaica is the number one leading country in the world for paternity fraud. Look at, put it up, producer, let them see. Take down the picture. As the report, you know where I put it up? Jamaica has the highest rate of paternity fraud in the world. Mm. 
34.6%. Nigeria is next at 30%. Canada is at 2.8%. The United Kingdom is at 1.6%. France is at 1.4%. And the issue has increased the call for mandatory DNA testing locally in recent times. Lord, you know, see, uno Oman. Uno Jamaican Oman, you hear that? Uno Jamaican Oman. Uno Jamaican, uno Jamaican women are the epitome of paternity fraud. Yes, man. <clears throat> That's why I'm not breeding a Jamaican woman, you know. That's a serious crime, you know. Because it should be mandatory for them to name the father. But they must do the paternity test. 34% of Jamaican women. Enough that you know, Courtney, Lord Jesus. So, I wonder if our beloved prime minister is a case of um paternity fraud. Hello, good night, Andre. Yes, my darling, you need to put down the Jamaican women, you know, because America, those kids only get their mother's name, they have no father name. Didn't you know that? America don't name the, the, the child after the father. No, because if he wanted to decide, it, my dear, he doesn't get no name. He got to get the mother's name. Well, Uno, we in a, Uno, but it still look bad. Say Jamaica, so much I don't know, I give man jacket in a Jamaica. No, no, it's every day short. It's not jacket, it's every day wear. Every day short, every day wear. Oh. Hey! So, you know, I wonder how many of these parliamentarians are jackets. No for them, no for them, no for them. But I would wonder if the Prime Minister is really a jacket, though. No, no, no. That was not... It is cut to fit. Put not up the picture with the Prime Minister. It really looked like I am, do a man. The man looked like him, you know? They're not no wrong. Bun and cheese. Yes, you're yes. all tired about bun and cheese. Look there. Look at the people, them. Look at the eyebrow. The eyebrow and the eye. Lord Jesus, what kind of bang around this in a Jamaica? Me send me the pan the road today. What uptown woman look for me in a this something? So me hear a Andre behave yourself. Me say what you talking about, Miss? When she walk go down the aisle, hear her is a Bramwell. <laughs> so me say wait, all them uptown people watch me show. Hear her? Yes, Andre is a Bramwell. I never know such so a stinker road in a. Everybody are calling Bramwell now. <laughs> Lord Jesus. I wonder if it's a Bramwell. <laughs> Lord Jesus. But we need to find the picture of the next father. Don't I? When name? Smart is a muscle almighty guy. <laughs> Look out for the shape of the nose. And the lip. I look how the lip them steer and the little something under the lip. What that something you call again? Cleft. The cleft. cleft. The chin. This the darkness. So. It look like him for true, man. Yes. No, sir. Yeah. You know father, the next father. The next father come from St. Elizabeth. Still alive? Yeah, man. Him is a farmer. Don't look on him. The man never looked pan him really. Kind man say my labor right and him a PMP. Yes. Mm. But all you all this time look Jamaica. Lord Jesus. Hey. Me no want to get myself in any trouble. Me just ask question. But all these things the, the media must probe, you know. If the prime minister is a jacket. Don't it? The media must look into the matter and see if the prime minister is a jacket. Sue me for what? What am I going to sue me for? Me just asking questions. Yes, you, yes, you my jacket fit as so it looks fit. <laughs> hey! Mm -mm. So she, she probably she never named name Juliet Olin. She should have named Juliet Bramwell. You know what? Make me left the argument the final. <laughs> make me let me left the argument the final. So the, all right. See the next father, yeah. 
I'll tell me which one him look more like. Him look more like that one you do. Where me show? Me put me send you the next picture, the next part. Hello. Hi. Uh, good night, Andre. Yes, sir. Um, you know, it's seriously, that's how the prime minister are going to be looking when it reaches that age. You think so? I, I that it's it, that's how he's going to look. Oh, so he has said it is look like I come to stand fit for him all age. <laughs> Exactly. Um, as a matter of fact, if, if the Prime Minister takes the right man can send that man for to replace him for a day. Oh, but him not around anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the eye. Look at the eye and the nose, Jamaica. It's it, 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 example of dead stamp of him. There's it, nothing, no guess, no guess. Yeah, okay. man, it's something to look into. Something to look yeah. into. But um, let me tell you something. Some of these mothers, you see, uh -huh. sometimes they, they don't really know um who the father really is, you know. Mm. So, so when they get pregnant, at the time they get pregnant, they, they were seeing somebody new. Uh -huh. and, 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 and then that new man would just automatically get fall in the trap of being the father. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. That's what I'm Send up a say. super chat for that Bram William. I could stay up on the argument. Probably me can't turn. Jerry, a Jerry Springer and Murray. <laughs> All right. Me will turn Murray over here. All right. Mm. <laughs> you know, said that is something that we should, we should have. Um, you may have an idea. Well, that I didn't, that I will say I'm father. Hmm. Hello. Good night. <laughs> Andre. Yes, good night. Good night, partner John. Yes, good night. How are you? I am good. Yeah, so that lady that called in a while ago telling me that most of the kids over in the United States. Yeah. The lady that called in saying that most of the kids over in the United States yes. have mm. their father have their father's name. Yes. That's not true. Mm. Unless they don't want to put the father's name. I'm living, I'm living in Boston. Mm. My granddaughter born right here. Our father is in Jamaica and our father's name is on our birth paper over here. Okay, all right, call. I say yes, said nothing no go so. Nothing no go so. Unless they want them don't know the father himself, so I want to put their, their, their mother's name on the birth paper. Okay, all right. Thank you for that, okay? You're right. God bless you. Mm -hmm. But them, this is his father, you know, the one that is Mr. Holness. Yeah. And then... This is Mr. Bramwell. This is Mr. Bramwell. I'm sorry we couldn't get the next picture beside too. But let us leave that alone for now. It's just a joke we're running. But it would be interesting to note that the issue of paternal fraud is very high in Jamaica. And it could be, might as well, a strong possibility that your prime minister, just like me, could be too, is a paternal a fraud. Courtney, you could be a paternal fraud. No, father look like me. No, I'm just saying you could be because the probability is, based on the probability of women giving men wrong children in this country, it's very high. I know when them find out, when them go into the embassy. Because the embassy say you have to do um, the mandatory DNA to go on the filing. And so some of them find out for them and them pick me and I feed them own, you know. Enough people were married all three years find out, say, them pick me and I feed them own. 20 odd years marriage, 30 odd years, and when them go to the paternity test, them find out, say, they pick me and I feed them. It's a, it's a serious matter of paternal fraud in this country. And it must be addressed. It must be addressed. It must be addressed at the highest level. Because at the end of the day, Jamaica, we can't be this dishonest with our people. And a lot of people are, a lot of families are hurting by the amount of dishonesty of our women. A lot of our children have not forgiven their mothers and their fathers because of that neglect for years. So I don't want you guys to say that I'm turning in the show into a joke. But the truth be told, Jamaica, 
we need to address the issue of paternal fraud. And one of the primary ways in which we can address the issue of paternal fraud is by making it mandatory for DNAs to be done. Do you agree with me? It should be mandatory for DNAs to be done because we would have less incidence of paternal fraud. Imagine your, your country is higher than even Nigeria. Nigeria that is known for scam and fraudulent activities. And Jamaica is higher. 34% of our women. That is significant. That is one third of our women, you know. One third of our population don't know the right father. That's wrong, Jamaica. And I'm calling tonight on the government of Jamaica to make it mandatory. Put that in law for us to have paternal DNAs done so that we can end the incidences of paternal fraud in our country. Many will not agree with me tonight. DNA tests are not expensive. I think it's about 78 is how much for a DNA test. If it is mandatory, it would become cheaper, don't it? If it is mandatory, the government should have a lab. It's not hard for the government. It's not hard for the government of Jamaica to create a lab or a, a, a diagnostic center to do DNA testing. 35,000 to do a DNA. 35,000. So some of the money where Andrew a thief, him can turn that into a, a, a lab, don't it? Mm. No man is about 35,000. It's not 50,000 for your DNA. If him can't implement needs, him can't implement DNA. The same place where you put the need center, you can't have a DNA center on it. Don't it, Courtney? Sure. Yes, man, it's not. No, it's not going to take him a billion dollars for investing. How would it, this person call him? Hello, good night. Hello? Yes, good night, sir. Yes, Andre. Yes, sir. Welcome to the program. Yeah, man. Where may I say, um, me have my two cents where you just said a while ago, but where may I say, where the government could do? Mm -hmm. Me don't know if they can do that, you know, but you see, once a, a woman have three people, yes, make them either take tie off or then go up on something where they can see have no more people card. Jamaica can one 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 woman are about six seven and, but, and in a rich earth yet. But I want to say to you though, my friend, that woman that has a six and seven, they the government of Jamaica don't have a problem with it because presently there is an underpopulation of the population, meaning that yeah. majority of the people not producing children anymore. So if one woman had I produce five or ten. The government need the population, so they're not going to learn to take tire because she will produce the five or ten. I produce for the next twenty when I have picnic. You yeah, understand? But, yeah, but when you, when you look on the road in mm. a Spanish town, yes, the picnic does Lego run up and down, kill them bikes, lick them, and then you know. You know, you don't know who are the mother or father sometimes. So they need to come with a law. They need to come with something like what that. What them probably should do, though. I think we need to. What them should screen record this and put that out there. For all of them, mother, we have the five and ten picnic. Them can't put some up for adoption because a lot of successful families out there can't have children or don't have no plan to raise any children. Yeah. You understand? Take up yeah. some of them out of the ghetto and put them in our some in a some proper um um care and the care of some and me would adopt children. Me not know if they have a gate, but if oh, some yes, if somebody come to me and say, right now, take me pick name, would I take the pick name if it's true? Me know somebody right now. Come, no, no, somebody. me no one in a year, Courtney. That's a bad breed. Hello? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me know somebody right now, but me not call him name. 
warm to them. Them are, them come like a, a, a call it something, yeah, guinea yeah. pig. Guinea, every rabbit, year, a rabbit. A rabbit. Every year, she gone one. I right now, every father gone left him. So how much pity she want up, sir? Seven. Wow. Oh, oh, what well, she be? She, she around in a 20, 27, 28. I have seven pitney already now, so that's a serious seven. crime. So they need to find a solution for that. Oh, so just through your seat around you now, you're really concerned about them when the many mothers yeah. having the holy for pitney them. Yeah. Mm, I understand. Okay, okay, that's my oh. time. It's still me, 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 a long time watch her here. Oh, that's why Sharon, take him. Take him. <laughs> All right. Mm. Okay. All right. Bless you. All right. Mm. All right. Go. So much pain, Kwani. No, sir. My WhatsApp number is eight six five four five eight seven eight seven six eight six five. Four five. Uh, what kind of name that? The happy two happy two. Thank you. The happy two. The happy two. What a name. Hmm? Boy Jesus. The residents of Old Harbor from Saturday have been demonstrating. The residents of Old Harbor have been demonstrating. From, let me show you the video of what is happening in Ola Baby. Show them the video my producer will not talk to. Me ear look nice. Yeah, man. <laughs>
watch you know. I want to see what you do, look who you know. I want to see what you do. I want to see what you do. We never have no match number, but we have no face. If you like, don't you easy, but you boy. Oh, no, no. no. Wow. Wow. Wow, Jamaica. These days it's so hard to really decide who is right and who is wrong. The police make it so difficult for themselves most times. Because last week, they killed a man who was complying with them. And the video evidence was there to prove that the man did not shoot at them. But he's dead. And come here in Olaba Bay, you have two young men. One to said to be 21, and I believe the other is said to be 24. On Saturday, they were killed by the police. And the police said, according to them, they recovered a pistol. But you see, Jamaica, we have had so many incidences of police planting guns on residents. And the residents are fed up and tired of what is happening in the country. So their response is simply this. What is their response, Jamaica? What is their response? Demonstrate. Black road. Burn tire. Become anarchal. And you see there. Children burning tires. So the children learning from early what they must do. No, sir? When police do anything to them. Nobody saying, let us go at peace, don't it? Everybody saying, I wonder if it's somebody's from Olaba calling me. Hello, good night. Good night, Andre. Yes, good night. I just want to, I just want to bring up to something. I don't want to say hear about it. Up in Miss, Miss Onis constituency, where there are some people that work in a piece of land for the National, for, for the National Water Authority for 40 years. And Miss Onis, since we here, ten truck out there to bulldoze the people in farm. The people must then love the farm with all the coffee and banana and all them things there. And she's sending bulldozers to bulldoze it. The people must stop it. And then, you know, a, a lot of things going on. I don't know if, it, if you come across that yet. I'm not so there yet, it. but I've heard of it, all right? Very good, sir. Okay, good. Take care. Yeah, bless you. Students, you see, when I'm not, if, I'm just going to say to you respectfully, students, when I'm on topic of any sort and you're calling in, make the topic be relevant to what I'm talking about. Re respectfully? Is that respectful enough? Is that respectful enough, my students? I'm saying tonight that when you're calling the program, Thank you, doing. When you're calling the program, if I'm taking the call, make the call be on point to what I'm talking about. Because when you do that, you throw me off. And when you throw me off, sometimes it's hard to remember everything that my script is saying. And most times, my script is in my brain. I don't write everything. I just write the topics and so forth. So I don't have to see with me, my students. Reasonable? If that's reasonable, say yes, because I don't want. So I will accept the call, but let the call be on topic to what I'm discussing. I will lose focus on the matter. And when I lose focus, it can send me off in the wrong way. So as I'm saying, Jamaica, as I am saying to you, there have been many incidences of 
police shootings across Jamaica. And the police say that the man are criminal. I still remember the, that of the one in Westmoreland where you had the guy named Shane. A businessman, you know. And the autopsy is now saying that the police gave him 21 gunshots. 21 gunshots, you know. And that businessman was on his merry way to go and do his business. So I'm saying to you, to, Mandy Joseph, thank you. We're asking for my number. My number is 876-865-4587. So I'm saying to you tonight, police are wicked for true. Many police out there are wicked for true. Many police out there are wicked for true. But who am I to say this? Is, we need to invest. I am calling on the commissioner of police to make a special investigation to the matter what is happening in Old Harbor. I'm calling for the police in Old Harbor and the police commissioner. Yes, let me take this one call or the hang up. I'm calling for the police commissioner to make an investigation into this matter. Is that reasonable, Jamaica? Make an investigation into this matter because if the incident happened from Saturday and the people demonstrate Sunday. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, it look like they're not stopping. Look like they're not stopping. Look like they're not stopping Jamaica. So I'm just saying to you tonight, it's something we must look into. Hello, good night. Hello, good night. Yeah, good night, Andre. Yes, welcome Andre. to the program, caller. The lady is talking stupidness. What the man says to you, that's why you have paternity court and Murray. You understand? And Jerry Springer. You understand? All right. I keep the United in the United States, they don't even know the right father. Okay, all right. But we're not I past that topic now, all right? Okay, good God night. bless you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we have looked at paternity fraud. And we have looked at the issue of what is happening with crime and old harbor. Now let us turn to the Integrity Commission. Only see the Sunday Gleaner? Hey! Only see the Sunday Gleaner uh, request the Robert, Robert Chin to turn himself in the Integrity Commission. It's where this, you know, the Gleaner, let me see if I can find it. The Integrity Commission put out something in the Gleaner on Sunday. It was a public notice in the Gleaner. You know, like when you it says the Integrity Commission public notice, Mr. Robert Chin, Member of Parliament for Manchester Southern Division, is being asked to attend on the office of the Integrity Commission by the 27th of March. The Commission has made several attempts to contact Mr. Chin without success. And the Integrity Commission put up all of the information. How? Only put up in picture, no? Robbie Chin. He's the member of parliament for Manchester South. So him say, he responded. He responded. And he said that he's going to go to the office today. I gather that the Integrity Commission is, has is the director on several companies and the integrity commission wants to know how the business go so it's very interesting to know jamaica with that the integrity commission had to go that reach to get in so can you believe i wonder who else i wonder who is the integrity commission going reach out 
we don't know if that, that they said that the the probe is ongoing it's not final see him there jamaica mm. so the integrity commission looking for this one to find out some critical information so i don't know if that make him one of the six then don't it i don't know if that make him one of the six then mm. yeah man i don't know if that makes him one of the six but he is being investigated why well, looks so blurry see how i look blurry there like something happened to me mm. so it's just interesting to know jamaica that that is happening but there was an interesting take today that are you aware that juliet Holness sent back the reports, the two reports from the Auditor General that was sent to the Parliament. Juliet Holness sent them back. Mm. Juliet Holness sent back the reports, Jamaica. Why? I go and tell you why now. She want to blame it on somebody. She want to blame it on somebody. So right now, as we speak. The Attorney General is surprised that the special audits, it's two audits, you know, one on the Financial Services Commission, and is which one of the other one? The Tax Administration of Jamaica. Those two special reports are before Parliament. And to let Willis send them back. So, no, what will happen today? Only one what will happen since evening? To let Willis write to the clerk of the house and i said that the clerk when i read the letter lord jesus for all this time the clerk of the house see there all this time you hear about the clerk of the house when you ever hear nobody say the clerk of the house of the election of duties you ever hear nobody bring this lady in a, you know the woman where call out them near in the parliament she had it, somebody went do the register but she's the clerk of the house juliet who no one see i don't know who, who gives you let one permission for send back report she wants to be a law to herself so because of that now jamaica let me find the letter where she sent today. Speak. Um, I wonder if Ishmael I read this. Let me go find it. See it here. Send letter to the speak the, the clerk. We have never had the clerk of the house in a bangaran. And you let only swan blame the woman for as she had the problem. Can you believe? Yes, she go say. Dear Miss Curtis, failure to comply with the speaker's rulings. Backside. This letter su supersedes previous correspondence dated 20, March 21, 2024, to address a serious matter regarding the caption. Reference is made to the sitting of the House of Parliament on November 7, 2023. Reference is also made to the letter of the Auditor General dated December 28, 2023. Reference is made to the letter from you dated January 8, 2024, responding the letter from the Auditor General. So she want to blame the good decent lady for her shortcomings. Them, you know. Here I go say the, afford, the aforementioned references underscore the point that subsequent reports received from the Auditor General were in breach of the ruling made in the House of Representatives on November 7th. Additionally, your failure to adhere to the said ruling and applicable procedures amount to a gross dereliction of duty and as such has brought the institution into disrepute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Style of the woman. Hmm. The accusation from stakeholders could not be ignored. And I was alarmed to discover that the following matters were submitted to the parliament by the Auditor General. 
in breach of section 13A of the Public Bodies Management and Accountability Act and Section 30 of the Financial Administration and Audit Act, namely. Here was she had said now. The Auditor General Special Report on the Financial Services Commission, Human Resource and Procurement Procedures, undercover, undercover letter, cover letter dated January 15th, our records show that the said document was previously received in the Parliament Registry on the 2nd of January, 2024, and that you requested on the letter dated January 8th, outlining to the Auditor General the correct procedure to be followed. So she has said, the clerk at the house never tell the Auditor General the right way how the report must be submitted. The Auditor General special audit report from the Tax Administration leasing agreement undercover letter dated January 29, 2014. Here I am now. As the Speaker of the House, I have the responsibility to ensure that they are in adherence to established laws, protocols, and guidelines, inclusive of rulings in the Honorable House of Representatives. It is essential that, in your capacity as a Chief Administrator with responsibility for adherence to procedures, you recognize authority of the presiding officers and respect the decisions made in the House. The ruling of the speaker are integral to maintaining order and the execution of the administrative procedures of this house. Your failure to comply with the agreed established procedure has undermined the effectiveness of the institution. You, you share this up the woman. Jamaica on the ear, oh, share this up the woman. I wish also to emphasize that you have an existing knowledge of the ruling and the actions to be taken in the matter of the Special Audit of the Financial Services Commission, Human Resource and Procurement Procedures, was appropriately addressed under your cover letter to the Auditor General dated January 8th. It is imperative that you prepare a schedule of, that shows the details of the reports received from the Integrity Commission and the Auditor General. My election as Speaker of the House on September 26, 2023. The schedule must outline the date of reports were received by the registry, date delivered to the speaker, the date tabled to the parliament, the relevant sections of the act under which they were tabled, and the date of the correspondence to the auditor general relating to the said report. Here she said, the information should be submitted no later than Wednesday. March 27, 2024, at noon, to facilitate your request for an extension. I am also requesting your attendance in communicating this information to the relevant staff to ensure compliance and adherence, the established rules, the procedures, and particular to the clerk, deputy clerk, the legislative council, along with the respective secretaries. A copy of this letter is placed on your personal file. I reprimand you, I reprimand the woman. Only hear that. Reprimand, she reprimand the woman in Jamaica. I see this woman years now, this woman in the, in the parliament, you know. This woman has served about six or seven speakers, you know. And I never hear Miss Curtis' name in a bangaran. So why then, if she never do nothing wrong before, all of a sudden she had do something wrong for Juliet Olney? No, it's a serious matter. We have never seen the clerk of the house in any showdown with any speaker. So why would this clerk be doing, having dereliction of duties? Tell me now, Jamaica. Why would this clerk have dereliction of duties that Juliet has a right to her for blame her for the short falls of the report then? So what you let one is basically a saying in Jamaica. You let one is saying that is the clerk is responsible for the report them send back in. And that she are telling you, you know, she has said the clerk not follow the procedures for how the reports are to be dealt with at the House of Parliament. So what she has said, she had the clerk boss. You hear what she said? 
the clerk. So she had put the clerk, the letter upon the clerk personal file. So that means a, a human resource, she had put it to fill. I wish she wanted to fire the clerk. Large, you know them, you see them wicked. You see them wicked, Jamaica. That woman in your retirement, I've never heard Miss Curtis in any bangarang in the, in the house. So she has used the clerk as a scapegoat. She has used the clerk, Courtney and Jamaica, as a scapegoat. It rang man, Jamaica. It very wrong. It's so wrong, me can't even digest it properly, Courtney. How can you use the clerk as a scapegoat? Because the people them have Mark Golding and the opposition talk about it. So through the fact, and then remember, say, the labor right then did come out and say, Oh, no report never table. And then they cost Mark Golding for lie. Then the auditor general says she's surprised, said the report them come back. So what are we to believe? Hello, good night. Good night, teacher. Yes, good night, caller. Teacher, that 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 letter that right to, to, to the lady, the clerk of the court. Yes. Well, the fool don't know how to write a letter. Remember, she don't know how to write a letter. Sure. All right, I'm gonna why? Yes. How oh, many times you hear the original leader and Julia Robinson asked that report and the and the attorney auditor general the um, attorney general report? How oh, many times you hear them ask about it? Several times, several times, caller. So, 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 the clerk on the court and she some side, almost on the side, just there. I wish, I wish, I wish something was talk about. You know that them time there? Eh? Not January. Now, December, January, at noon time, mm. she look, there was at the clerk of the court, I went which, which, which report they were talking about. Mm. We thought they were report they were talking about. Uh -huh. They must get that woman who took two million dollars of their life on her. They must be her. But I am saying, Carla, the woman yes. has been there for years, don't it? Yes, sir. We have never seen the clerk of the house in any kind of bangarang. Why would Juliet Ones want to make the lady a scapegoat to just make so that she can look good? But it don't make sense. It don't make sense. If you call Julian and um and Ma, uh, Mark Golden, then can tell you from December the man John Mark about that report and the and the attorney general report. You know why them don't want this report table? Because it's going to show. The bad runnings of the Financial Services Commission. Everybody know that. Everybody know that. God. Them are hide that report because them don't want nobody know how much of them. Remember saying no. The Financial Services Commission is also a part of the SSL probe. Right. And then the tidiness of the director of the public prosecution with the with the report. To prosecute those at SSL. It's a long thing, it's a big thing, you know. Hello, sir. Uh -huh. Hello, teacher. Yes. Yes, I didn't call a teacher. Yes, I am the teacher, what? man. Mm. Where, where is that letter that we have for right here? I mean, no sense. Because I think people have, no, no, have, no, have a phone, people don't know for Google, and people don't know for go to YouTube, and people don't remember. Then try to make people dunks, mm. but somehow we have sent. Yes. Right? All Every right. time you watch Parliament, you say Mark Gordon and Julia Robson, ask about those two reports, include, yes. include the advice that the Attorney General gives them. The Auditor General, yes. <laughs> no, you have one the other than the Attorney General. No, and the, the one from the Attorney General, them not make that known public from right. them. And those are the two things that Julia Robson asks about every time. Every time, so comes the woman so in front of her, and she look at the chamber and say, "I wish, I wish, I wish you put them at that." Mm. Uh, you, you, you understand? Oh, 
Yes. Mm -hmm. But we're going to, but I'm going to look into some other matters now, all right? Yeah, man. Thank you, teacher. Bring it all right, my student. God bless yeah, you. Man. Mm. Yeah. No students. On the ear say, Mr. Warmington, take back him resignation. I don't know if you want to hear about it. But Everal Warmington has withdrawn his resignation as chairman for the JLP era council. Let me explain this to you, Jamaica. He's still not, he's not a member of the cabinet. Let me explain it because a lot of people think that with him going back to his era council means that he's back in his the cabinet. He's not in the cabinet, Jamaica. He's not in the cabinet. But what he has said is that he's going back into the trenches for the JLP. Meaning that what happened last week has propelled him to go around and win around the country for the JLP. So I'm going back to his era council which includes St. Thomas, Portland, St. Mary, and St. Catherine, that he cheers for his era council. Want to get that clear? So I don't want to the thing say the JLP take him back or him gone as cabinet member. Want to get that? He's not in the cabinet, Jamaica. I want that to be clear. We we'll have to split justice and talk truth, you know. Is him done? Yes, yeah, so the position that he's fired from, which is the Minister of Works, he has not gone back to that job. You hear that? He has not gone back to that job. So when him tell you, say, him gone back to him era councillor, political work him are doing in party. All right? But let us watch and see if him going back into the cabinet. That is what we must watch for. That is what we must watch for. Him going back to the cheerleading position when go around in the place and decide who must run for MP and who. That is not, it's not a matter of what is something called him going back into the executive. He's just a member of the government. He's not a member of the cabinet. All right? Is that clear? He's a member of the government is not a member of the cabinet. Lord Jesus, Aral Brady, come here. Aral Brady, come here. Only remember Aral Brady. He was Andrew, one. He was one time Andrew Olney's liar. Everyone at Andrew Olney's liar them get this bad, you know. Everyone at Andrew Olney's liar them get this bad. Aral Brady. Aral Brady Jamaica has been disbarred. He was an he was an attorney for Andrew Holness at one point. You let me see this call just a second. Hello, good night. Oh, yeah, man. So as I'm saying to you now, Aral Brady has been disbarred. Just as Patrick Bailey, yeah, man. The two attorneys for the Prime Minister are disbarred. I don't know who is his attorney now. But him was one of Andrew Olney's close attorney then. You remember when we did have man at Feb Samson? You remember the Tivoli incursion? Only here so one lawyer did re represent man at Feb Sam Phillips. This was the man, him named Aral Brady. I him did go get man at Feb Sam Phillips, man. I ain't the Bangarang. You remember that? Hello, good night. Yeah, blessed. Yes, good night, caller. Yeah, it, it, um... Warmington and Fly Green. I seen the law, you know, you see Fly Green he resigned and Ray Ray Ray. Yes. I saw him to him. So you I'm think say I'm gonna take him. back Warmington? Yeah, because I see him position him on Fly Green. Well, let us wait and see, no? Let us wait and see if him going creep him back up, all right? Yeah, man. All right, let us look and see if him going creep him back up. Mm. So now Jamaica, Mr. Brady. Is in a predicament. Him have to find one hundred and thirty-four million dollars to pay back the factories corporation of Jamaica. 
You hear that, Jamaica? And he has 30 days to it, or else him going 30 days to find the money, or I'm going to go to prison. I went Aral I went Aral Bridge to go get the 130. I can go find I can go call Mr. Oldness and Barry. 134 million dollars. On the no, the prime minister attorney, one time attorney. So I'm have to go find 134 million dollars now to go pay back to the factories corporation of Jamaica. He was to, I, I believe he was to do some work for them, but I don't believe the work was completed and the money was not returned. So the factories corporation, 134 million. I never know so much money, liar, make. Lord God, I wonder if Isaac have any can lend me. I want my friend Isaac there. So much money, Courtney, from one client. 134 million dollars. Mighty God. Hmm? So, I hope, I want, but remember, so the Prime Minister's statutories have not been declared. So, the Prime Minister probably can give him the money. What do you say? The Prime Minister probably can't give no arm can go borrow it from Juliet told me. Then they kick him out of the house, you know. All him $60 million house, then they kick him out. Yeah, man. Him did have an apartment, them take off all the grill and them something. They him. Not the last year, the year before. Them doing bad. Harold Brady. Mm -hmm. Hello, good night. Yeah, man. Aral Brady, them doing bad man. Very bad, 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 bad. That is almost $134 million. So why did factories corporation give all of that money though? Shouldn't you get the money in pieces? I don't think you should have all of that money one time. Mighty God. $134 million. Hello, good night. Why are the people calling and hanging up? Help, help, help. We the We need your divine yeah. intervention. Yeah. We're tired of the labor rights. Yeah. We're tired of the green people. We are so far. We can't take it no more. We need this. We need this. We need, this. We need it. Help. Help. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength. Is a labor to draw me. Help. For that bread I said tonight. Help. Yes, man. That 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 ready I said to Andrew tonight. Help! Help! Mm -hmm. And that ready I said to Andrew tonight. Help! Let me take a commercial break. Let me. You know, can get a commercial. If you want to get your commercial? Say a commercial on Partner Draw TV tonight. We've been listening to you. We definitely been listening to you. So we got to do this just for you. It's Paint House Record presents the man himself, Redeem, talking about one of the badass, one of the best uprising artists right now. Keys for the Cage Mind with songs like Deception. Peculiar people. Every morning when me rise up, don't the river bull and swim. If you do not have no river, find yourself down at the spring. And your ear no one fit all before you. And a brand new single. This one's called This Is Too Redeem Love. Say no more, this too much. Hey, redeem say no more, this too much. Poverty lie in the long bend till you walk. We garrison the area and them one fix up. Talking about Redeem, one of the fastest rising artists right now. Hey, you can find him on all social media platforms, IG, Facebook, 
TikTok. It's Redeem Official. Or look him up right here on YouTube. It's Redeem Official Vivo. Hey, talking about good music, talking about authentic music, it's right here. It's Redeem. It's a pain out production. Why you want wipe us from Jaja Earth? But for whatever lies were earth. Hey, Babylon, I have seen you were earth. Babylon, me see your dirty were earth. Babylon, redeem, still see you were earth. Who no say, who no disease, I fake a young baby. I fake pregnant woman and the elderly. People pause a minute and listen to me. This was well thought of and planned carefully. When you kill it, baby, there is no future for we. Population that you kill pregnant lady. Knowledge can pass and you kill the elderly. Where there is no brain power, you rule mentally. We're almost at 30,000 subscribers tonight. So I'm just asking you to remember to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell. Remember, you can do an advertisement with us. Do an advertisement with us. We have slots available still. You can get an advertisement done with us. So you can reach out to myself or any member of my team to get an advertisement done. That's where we are, Jamaica, getting the advertisements done. But have you been following what is happening in the United Kingdom? I spoke about it last week, whereby the Jamaican British parliamentarian, her name is Diane Abbott, there is an ongoing racial war in the United Kingdom where Diane Abbott is facing where let me say his name is mr can we play what uh thousands of people across the uk are rallying behind diane abbott the longest serving black member of parliament in the uk because of the racist comments uh, that were said about her by this gentleman mr hester now, why is this relevant to us in Jamaica? His firm is the one that the Ministry of Health and Wellness has chosen out of local Jamaican firms and other firms to implement the national medical records system. So your tax dollars at work are going to pay and help the, fact the, po the pockets of one of the biggest races in the uk right now who is disrespecting and even inciting violence against a black woman so what did mr esther do what did mr esther do jamaica so mr hester made his pronouncement on miss abbott where he said let me get it clear what he said seeing diane abbott on tv made him want to hate all black women you hear what he said seeing diane abbott on tv made him want to hate all black women who is Diane Abbott? Diane Abbott is the longest serving member of parliament, British member of parliament who is black. And I think it's last week or the week before, when she was in the House of Representatives, she had to stand 47 times to be acknowledged by the Speaker of the House in the House of Commons. 47 times jamaica no other member of parliament would have to do that in the uk but she had to stand 47 times to be acknowledged and then this man who is a big donor to the conservative party 
We're talking international news now. This donor to the Conservative Party is saying, Mr. Hester has given the Conservative Party over 10 million pounds. He's known to be a big conservative, but you have given the conservative over 10 to 15 million pounds. But here is the funny part of it, Jamaica. Mr. Hester does business with the government of Jamaica. And Mr. Hester is saying, because he does business with the government of Jamaica, that doesn't make him racist. You hear what I'm saying? So he's using, just like how Juliet Holness using the speakers as scapegoat, he is using the government of Jamaica as a scapegoat to say that because he does business with the government of Jamaica, what kind of business he is doing? That is what I must ask. He's the one getting your money, Jamaica. You remember when them sign up for the end Spanish stone? to digitize all of the public records you remember the public records to be digitized yes man so the public records are to be digitized and it is being digitized with this man's company yeah man so i gather that imaba it should be a 2.5 million us dollar contract with the government of jamaica but today, Dr. Dawes has revealed that that contract is actually not 2.5 million US. It's actually 100% more. He actually has a contract of 5 million US dollars to digitize the Jamaican health system records. Yes. So I want to ask the government of Jamaica, how is it that you are doing work with a known racist. Don't it? Smaddy where they like black people. Smaddy where they discriminate one of your very own sisters from Jamaica. Because then, Abbott is from Jamaican bloodline. She is from Jamaican bloodline. How then you want to discriminate Diane Abbott with to say that seeing black woman, don't it? And then, this is the hypocrisy of Babsy Grange. You hear what she has got to say? You know why? You hear what she say? Mm. Mm. You know learn at night time? I hope when we do all of them class, I want to register them in. You hear what Babsy has got to say? I met Diane Abbott many years ago during one of her early visits to Jamaica. And I know that she has suffered racism in capturing and keeping her historic post as the first black member of parliament for the British parliament. As a Jamaican woman, I am shocked to read that a prominent Englishman has made such a horrible statement that seeing Diane Abbott on TV made him want to hate women, all black women. That the woman of whom he speaks he has Jamaican roots made his statements a personal offense to me and all black Jamaican women. On behalf of all Jamaicans, I offer Diane full support in this difficult situation. As Bob Marley sang, quoting Emperor Haley Selassie, until the color of a man or a woman's skin is of no more significant than the color of his eyes, there will be no peace. I therefore hope there will be some way to reconcile this matter in a way that brings peace. So why Babzina call for our government? Why should not call for our government to stop the business with that money? But last week she called for Mark Golden with dry statement because Emma makes statement against Juliet. Yes, you're telling us you're Babsy Grange hypocritical. One of your fellow parliamentarian sister having racial discrimination in UK. 
the man is doing business with your counterpart, the government of Jamaica. And you're telling me, rather than say to Christopher, let us reconsider. Let us reconsider doing business with him. Your argument is what, Babsy? Your argument is what? We hope we can reconcile this matter. The only way the matter can reconcile, you see, you know, the Jamaica really has lost its stick to it next. You remember one time when people said things that were offensive, we would have made a mark politically, symbolically, to say that we are, 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 are make our position known. Remember the days of apartheid when Jamaica was the lead to send a signal to was the first to, to stand out against apartheid? Where is that kind of fire and spirit? Where's that kind of fire and spirit to say we have to stand up for something moral and ethical? Babs, it could have been you. It could have been you, Babsy. Uh, what did the opposition say? Because I think the opposition said something more. Dr. Dar said something more. About, look for that video and play it. There's a video there where you were talking. On the nature of the contract between the Ministry of Health and Wellness and the Phoenix Partnership because of the recent allegations of racial abuse meted out to a Jamaican, Dan Abbott, who is the longest serving member of parliament of the, the UK by the head of the Phoenix Partnership, uh, Mr. Frank Hester. Now we take this personally because Ms. Abbott has been a proud representative of Jamaica. Her parents were a part of the Windrush generation and she has maintained her Jamaican roots. The public outcry in the UK right now with thousands demonstrating against Mr. Hester and his company with even calls for the Tory party to return tens, uh, over 10 million, maybe $15 million in donations uh, that were made by Mr. Hester and even calls for the National Health Service to cancel the contracts that are currently held by the Phoenix Partnership. Now, we here in Jamaica must be outraged because what has come out in recent weeks is that Lord Marland, Marland has said that Mr. Hester cannot be racist because he does lots of business with Jamaica. So Jamaicans are being used as a stamp of approval to say that this overt racist is not of that type of leaning. No, we cannot allow our proud history of resistance against oppression and discrimination in any form to be tainted by this action. Furthermore, it is very concerning that the request for proposals for this contract to digitize our health records was initially 2.4 million US dollars, yet the contract that was signed by the Phoenix Partnership was valued at $5 million. This variation of over 100% is very concerning in light of the cost overruns for the Cornwall Regional Hospital Rehabilitation Project, which has moved from $2 billion to $20 billion. And the fact that the Ministry of Health and Wellness is one of two ministries that has been fingered in the inability to account for over $1.3 trillion, more than 40% of our GDP. The other ministry being the Ministry of Education that was headed by Royal Reed. Now, that plus the fact that $400 million has not been properly accounted for in, in uh, COVID expenditure, that variation of over 100% in this contract alone raises several eyebrows. And the Ministry of Health needs to shed some light on the, its stance morally and in terms of transparency and accountability as to why there was such a massive variation in the size of this contract. And 
if there is any consideration to cancelling this contract on a moral basis as we stand with the diaspora and black Britons and their supporters in support of Diane Abbott. Yes, thank you. Thank you. I want to ask you tonight, Jamaica. I want to ask you tonight. Do you agree with Dr. Alfred Dawes asking for us to review the contract with Mr. Hester's company, PPV? Do you agree to look into the matter of Mr. Hester's company doing, because if the contract was 2.5 and it reached 5 million, can you imagine when the contract done? And it's I said to only gather is only three of the 20. It's we have about 21 health facilities around the island. And I gather that the contract is only looking at three hospitals. It only looks at three hospitals. So my argument to you tonight, I am opening the phone lines for you to tell me tonight, Jamaica. Should we? Review. I believe it needs to be reviewed because imagine the man like black people and I get to no money. Lord Jesus. The man like black people and I get to no money. Him not like black people and I get to no money. It's a serious matter, Jamaica. That's like let me hear this caller's comment. Hello, good night. Hello. Yes, good night, caller. Welcome to the program. Yes, Andre. Good night. First, I want to big up that little short lady. Yes. Her name is Cecilia Thomas, and she's the caretaker for the Dembe Division. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. But with comrade um Dr. Alfred does, I agree with him. If mm. a man don't like black, why should you have a black a white man doing your thing? A oh. white man should in this. So you agree with him? Yes, come, yes. I'm and not a comrade, I'm a Jamaican. I don't want nobody to call me a comrade. Don't do it. Sorry, yes. All right, sorry. my darling. Mm. Yes. Thank you. You know, go send me program at this and that to not call me comrade over here for them send me a PNP. I, I endorse aspects of the PMP, but I'm not a comrade. Neither am I a labor right. Hello, Hello. good night. Good night, Andre. Yes, caller, welcome to the program. I agree with Dr. Daz 100%. No white man, and you don't like black people. So you agree, agree with him? him? Yes, I agree with Dr. Daz. So get rid of the white man and review the contract? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All yes, right. Sir. Something to look into. We look into that, all right? All right. Bless you. Hello, caller. Welcome to the program. Yeah, Andre, good night. How yeah. are you doing? I am, you know, why don't you from about a month now, Pat Cover? I wonder if I'm good. No, Pat, Pat Cover got sleep, man. The final local government election. And no, I man, it's a long cover. time I don't hear from Pat Cover. You're not going to hear from him, man. You know that, man. He got, he got a job out class. Oh, yes. So what you saying now, caller? Andre, yes. I want to read just a, a little bit, you know, and that video that you show earlier and with the roadblock. Yes. With the police. Mm. And then, a couple months ago, yes. I called into a program ah. and I had a discussion with you about the new helicopters that the government of Jamaica purchased, plus new barracks at Upper Camp. Yes. I am warning Jamaicans again. Yes. This election that is coming up will be something that we'll never see in Jamaica. What is it? Number mean? one, the police force is militarized. Mm -hmm. they, are, they are no longer wearing police uniform. They are wearing, wearing military fatigue, military gears. Yes. Just like the people in the video say. They are removing their tags. Mm. You talk about the, the, the former commission, commissioner transforming the police force. Yes. Of course, they transform it. Transform, transform it to what? Transform it to arm to, uh, um, of the Jamaica Defense Force. Oh. That's why he was here. Yes. That's what he did. What I can understand, I feel to understand. Uh huh. Maybe I can't, can't take up my shit, got chop off, then you buy it. 
chop off the cousin and brother head over the left. Uh -huh. But when it comes to these things, they're blind. Mm. The government of Jamaica can constantly disrespect and have no respect for the Jamaican people. Mm. They insult them intelligence. They tell them for a bunch of fools. That's mm. why the Prime Minister can't go there my life. Mark Golden, right? He's going to have my support. But let me, let me, let me put something on the table. Last um, week, yes. they might get to a drop on, to use a cricketing analogy. Yes. They might get to a drop on Batman. They call him Martha, ma, ma, him, ma, whatever, ma, Martha. Uh -huh. He's going to have a party, but you know. He's going to have the opposition are giving in contribution. Ah. Never in history of Jamaica, Siaga has never done it now with all the bitter fighting between Siaga and Michael Manley. That yes. never happened. And the man walk out of Parliament with you. Make the streets of Jamaica your Parliament. Mm. That's what it's all going to do. Just let you go down the road, go finish your speech. Yes. You need to go down the road and, and just, just don't play like in Siaga under the disguise of electoral reform. Uh -huh. uh, what did Michael Manley do? Look at the parliament that road. Mm. Mark Wallen need, right? To start to, I still rate him as a good leader. I think I think he's very strategic. Yes. But he needs to wake up the Jamaican people and cause if he come on road. Oh. The local government election tell you, say, just like nationwide finally come to them senses last week. And these are in the analysis. Mm -hmm. If it was a general election, yeah. Going by divisions and consequences, mm. the Jamaica Labour Party would have lost the election. And mm. some JP who would have won, would have like won by less than 200 votes. In other words, if you put all the divisions to the constituencies, for, for example, Montague, Charles mm. would have lost. Montague would have lost. Mm. So they know what it is. Seven, seven, six, seven, six and seven, according to them. Like equal 14, that's Portland, me and Matt, that's Jamaica Law Party, yes. Matt. Mm. So the same poll that them, them had their polls are showing them. The yes. Jamaica people show them. Yes. Right? That they are, they are rejected. And uh -huh. if you want me to not come back, the thing might come back. Blood and fire. That's what people are going to come back, come back and show on the era too. Right? JP, they are desperate and we're going to do things. We, to, we, we, take, we casually say, Jamaica is going to be the next city. Look at it for yourself. So you said Jamaica is going to be the next CAT? Easy! Easy! We are on the path! Alright! You know, no police are come, 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 people pe pe demonstrate. And police are beat up, man. I shoot, man. Lord Jesus, I can't, can't, can't but I think for Jamaica is going to be the next CAT. I pray against it, alright? We do! I don't want it! Alright, Carla, thank you, you hear? Mm. Alright, thank you, sir. Hello, good night, welcome to the program. Hey, uh, Andre. Yes, my caller, blessings to you. Yes, I agree with Dr. Dawes. You agree with Dr. Dawes? Yes, 100%. Mm. We, cannot have, we cannot have somebody discriminating against us and, and we are supporting them. All right. Can you, work. You, you, you agree with Dr. Dawes? All right. Yeah, God bless you, caller. God bless you. Mm. Hello, good night. Welcome to the program. Hello. Hello. Yes, good night, caller. Welcome. Hello. Yes, welcome to Hello? the program. Hello. Yes, good night. Welcome Hello? to the program. They're not hearing me. Hello, welcome to the program. Hello. Yes, caller, welcome. Hey, Andrea. Good night. Um, my take on this matter. I stand with that, Dr. Valls that said. Yes. However, Jamaican people need to realize that the Prime Minister of Jamaica been discriminating against our own people. Yes. We don't have access to beaches in Jamaica. Mm. So he's never going to stand with black people because if you look, when he's drinking his cocktail, he, he rubs shoulders with upper hoptown white class people. Yes. He does not consider black people. And the quicker Jamaicans pay attention mm. and realize that the Prime Minister of Jamaica is not what you think he is, the better they will be. But then he, until yes. we learn to emancipate ourselves from the mental slavery mm. that he have us in, yes. Andre, so as the beginning, so shall it be the end. All right. This is just the start. All right, Carla, thank you for your perspective, okay? Hello, welcome to the program. Hello, good night. Yes, welcome. 
Yeah, I just like to give my point of view. First yes. thing I like to point out. Mm. Um, every morning, if, if you pass the side of Park Yam, you see about 40, 50 people lining up to go join the army. Yes. Why? Why is that? Because they're not the army, they're not for opportunities. No, man. They have to manipulate the people, the soldiers. We don't need just a big army. We never fight in the war. We never have fight in the war. In the war, the, the, the country ever fight a with the citizen of the country. So we don't need they a big understand. army. We don't need that big of an army for what? To kill off our brothers and sisters that are youth them? No, we don't need that. And next thing, Mr. Mm. Mr. thing on TV, Jerry, then call him, fight us the day with the woman I say, oh, she, the man dead, the man vote for it to live, right? See, I vote for, for, for the, the, the madam. Speaker. Mm. Not the advocate. Yeah. But look at it. Mark, well then, it, it, it's such a great thing. It was on the street at York Street and East and Street. He was looking you behind them. Look at what he did. Mm. Come out and read it, and them couldn't have a by it as The punch match of the kids are TVJ, RG, the whole of them in a hand of pocket. All of oh, them, yes, so the media house is in hand of pocket. Yes, all of them, none of them never talk anything about That's the That's why country. Mark Golding have to be strategic. You understand? He must be strategic. Mark Golding have to be more than strategic. He must get serious. He must know what they have to do. He's not afraid. I have no problem with Mark Golding come on this program and talk to me now, but Mark Golding don't want to come on this program. Mark Golding don't want to come and talk to you. must come up and talk to you. I don't know. Look from when I invite Mark Golding over here. I don't know why I can't see him. You don't see the country as well. The man mess up everything. You see how much money them took out of the banking system. I know them are coming with me. And the Prime Minister has a talk about it. You would know. They know why they are delaying. They know why they are delaying. Um, where something they call the SSL charge them because it's them friend and company. Yo, the country shall the country have go down. This man come like him up. Everything the man touch becomes corrupt and I turn him corrupt. You know? This man here, yeah, mm. the worst thing me ever seen. I'm the pan long, long. Remember 1980? You know? Yes. I was a young you, but I never forgot it. Remember all that she has a bit. I'm not telling you, nobody can compare to this man. No Siaga. No, mm -mm. no, no Bruce Golden. No, not them. This but man Bruce Golden was not a bad prime minister. The no, old... no, of course he wasn't. And to me, he was the best Labour right prime minister. Me, Bruce know. Golden has been the best Labour right prime minister. Yes. Man, and the only thing mash I'm going to say this to you, know, the only thing I'm mash up Bruce Golden, I'm, I'm uh, a daughter, you know. I know this, and I'm because he loved it. He loved it too much. He never knew how to give an answer. If Bruce Golden never have the daughter, so I don't think Andrew will be prime minister now. Think about it. No, no. That is so true. And the next thing, Dodos get some of the blame. Because if Dodos did leave Tivali, Tivali wouldn't become one. Aye, aye, aye. Load that matter there alone. They can't make Tivali guards to come take me. I load that. Load that one there alone. Load Dodos argument. Dodos and Dodos, all right? I will want to put in a bang around about Dodos. You must be mad. When Prezi has come from here, and Prezi watch me. Hello, good night. Good night. Um... I agree with what Dr. Dottaz is saying. Mm. And I don't understand Babsy Green. You see the fiery passion she came out with when... Um, Last week. Yes. But no, she attacked her, her, her. But let us Come reconcile. She not, she not be strident. Right. She need to call out the man name too. I and know she don't call right. the man name and say Mr. Esther. That that's that what I was listening for. She no hoping she out and talk about calling my name. But her, she, they, they must such too much dig and hypocrite man. Yes. And Mr. when she did done, she did call for ISAT resignation. But she can't call for the contract yeah. for any. You see how them stay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. When it suit them, then come out, contact. Um, stupidness. Look how she come out and a bonfire pan 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 where him mm. him him a go to say. And look they know. I saw but them hypocritical I... man. All right. Mm. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Good night. Yeah. One thing you have to say, Andre. Do you expect expect better from Bob Green? Wait me, me, me not me expect better. She's the minister agenda. She must split equal rights. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, yeah, what I'm gonna say now. None of the women in the House of Parliament should never have a vote. You know why? Why? All of them, look what little girl, baby, woman, and everybody are getting a Jamaica. Almost house for a bomb in a 
You know, you know the girls from the other day that they will watch a woman and woman and picnic dead. And you never hear one of the women stand up in the house of parliament. Uh. And I said, no, this is getting too much. We have to put something in place. Just like when they come out at a minimum 15 years ago. But the Minister Minister of Gender never hear it for one day and different no woman and picnic. Never. You see, I run out one day and you never hear them stand up and defend the woman in the country. True. The, the Prime Minister wife is, is the first lady and she never yet picked down and stopped her. I don't know yet. I said, no, I'm, I'm going to I come here to represent all women. So mm. I'm going to put something to stand up for the woman them. Yo, wow. No, look up on it, Andre. That's look on it. It's true, man. I, yeah, I know side, this. Have, I stand up for woman more in this. I stand up for woman more in this country than Babsy and all of them. Yeah. Don't it? I'm a bank comrade, but none of that woman from both the MP side of the should never win a seat. Mm. None of them are going to represent the woman them. Why as no, a comrade no, me have to read your people. as a comrade me have to read your face, so you say not even JLP or PMP do it. Me glad you none of them should never win a seat. Come here, watch it, Andrea. None of them are not free women in the country. None of them are not free little people when they get kicked away, when they get molested. None of them. Mm-mm. And you know what I'm saying? No, 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 no no man, I'm money. How much are five why? million? How much are five million US? Don't have enough money that. Well, you know why? Don't have enough money that. That's about seven hundred and fifty so billion, no so. Yeah, a big contract. Yeah, but uh, yeah, yeah. So they know they're not, they're not, they're not gonna come to me because they're they're not eating food and many little things. Seven hundred and fifty billion dollar, no sir. All, on, man, million man. Man. All right, God bless you. Mm. All right. Hello, welcome to the program. Hello, good night. Yes, sir. Welcome to the program. Good night. Let me tell you something. Uh -huh. This morning I tell this lady from England, sir, she should be shot. Just imagine. Uh, uh, you, you, you remember what going on by the PMP with the reporter and about the real thing and all of them something there? Uh -huh. And them come out and make up all the noise and all of them something there. Yes. Now this man I say, tell this lady, I say, she should be shot mm. and almost the racist. Now, and I don't hear, these people are wrong and strong. True. And this is the reason why, this is the reason why Jamaica hardly going to get any better. We're too we hypocritical to and too too fierce. There's no empathy. We're too no hypocritical and too two faced in this country. That's the problem. But where's PSOJ? Where is the advocacy? Let me tell you something about Jamaica. Yes. Jamaica do not have any investigative journalists. They only have reporters. Oh. They mm. don't have no investigative journalists anymore. They only have reporters. So you won't see these persons come out and be advocates. But I am here. I am here to hold it up. I am here to hold it up. Yes, but the social media is doing it. The mainstream media is not doing it. If it wasn't for social media, let me tell you something. It's not like 2016 when JLP did a run the PR stunt and PMP was behind now. Now, mm. <laughs> now the playing field is level. Yes. Everybody's on social media. So they can't hide or manipulate nothing anymore. Yes. And and one of these people go to them bed and sleep and pray. You feel so them people go down bed and sleep and pray? No for them because in a God, you know. No for them not really in a God. So they don't really care about that. No for them atheistic. You understand? So what about the churches? We don't have any churches in Jamaica? The Who churches are like here, but no for them, not for them in the politics. I don't want to put more of the biggest politician. We don't want any of wow. them in for this. It's the biggest politician I know. He's the biggest. I, and he's the biggest crowd for a Sunday. About 5,000 people in a theme church. Mm. I am not too much watching what Dr. Gauz is saying about the lady now. What, what, what I'm looking at now is the bigger picture. Yes. If you pay 5 million US 
You pay five million US for three hospitals when you have twenty one and you have Carnival Regional move from two billion to twenty one billion. Just think about that. And we still have the accountability for that. True, true. Just think true. about what will happen. So we are we are not talking we might be talking about the woman and all of that, but who's gonna pay those money back? We the taxpayers are gonna pay the white man the money. Exactly. Mm. The patriation. Why slavery is still about. Thanks again, boss. All right, my brother. Thanks for calling. It's my final call for the night. Hello, good night. Yes, good night. Yes, good, good night. night. Good night. Mm -hmm. Good thing I get to at the right time and the signal is clear. How about this uh, cheer and love? What happened in England there has a conscious to shut her damn mouth and apologize to the people of Jamaica for what she has done. And guess what? The whole cabinet. Content creators must 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 charge where they must charge. That is correct. All so right. Those big companies and then if you go and better man, them dangerous. All and right. If you need them, shame them behind. All right, caller. Thank you for that. You here? Yeah. And thanks to everyone tonight for being here. I have a case that I was to touch on tonight, but I never got to touch on it. It really touched my heart. So tomorrow I'll follow up with it. I'll follow up on that case tomorrow night because time is upon us. But thanks to everyone who was here tonight. God bless to all my super chatters for giving. Those who need the Zell information can WhatsApp me and you will get it. But thanks to everyone who was here tonight. My name is Andre Stevens and I'm tuning out tonight from the Andre Stevens show. Until tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Jamaica, forward still. It's Jehovah's will. Good night.